All right, today we put a stereo in a, a friend's car. Um, took a little bit longer than expected. We had slight delays with an amp, um, <clears throat> but we got two more and solved that problem. Um, you might learn something. Enjoy. Because his vagina hurts for some reason. Dab's new toolbox. Nice big drawers. More space. <laughs> Putting the stereo in this. I reckon he's just bought that grill. <laughs> Splash, eh? What are you doing? Why don't we like it? Huh? Why don't we like it? Because <laughs> it's shit. Oh, cool. I want a skill point. <laughs> <laughs> This has actually got really good flux in it. Is this mine or yours? What colour's the spool? That's mine. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I think mine's black here. Yeah. I got a red one as well, but it's actual silver solder. Comes like $90. <laughs> Had to buy it ages ago for something that only would take silver solder. Right, eh? Put three of these little dicks on the fucking. You didn't need another band-aid already. Yeah, the other one where it was just about to overlap, it was coming apart. Amy didn't cut it long enough. Oh, what? Blame Amy. <laughs> yeah, it really dropped everything. Yeah. Like, that edge there is like a V cut. Oh fuck, we need the remote. Ow! That actually got me. Oh, did we catch that? I hope so. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I was only 12 volt too, that <coughs> Need a little remote wire, the blue wire that we can...
we've um, we've joined up our left and right front speakers, remote wire, power, earth, and uh, constant. Run our subwoofer RCAs and rear parcel shelf speaker RCAs. So yeah, time to chuck it in. Do you want to explain how, for people that don't know, how you find what's what for like Earth Live and memory and all that? <clears throat> so I've used this magical device here. Just set it to volts. Earth out the black one on the chassis. And then with the key off, use the red one, find one that's constant 12 volt. And then put the key into ignition. Um, put it into accessories and then yeah, poke around till you find one that's 12 volt and they'll be your ignition basically. You can also use a test light, right? Yeah, you can. Yeah. This was just fancier. So now we're plugging in the RCAs. Go carry signal to the amp. We're using a four channel boss audio amp. I'll show you that in a minute. JVC head unit. These are all bits and pieces supplied by the owner of the car that wanted it all put in. So, <coughs> not, I wouldn't say they're garbage quality, but they're not um, not real high end, but they're gonna do the kind of job that he wants. He basically just wants a decent stereo put in it for when he sells the car. Now before we chuck it all the way in, just gonna chuck the car on and uh, see if she turns on and all that. Oh, all right, I run the remote wire underneath. The power wire comes underneath through here, through the carpet, like so. In through there. And I've got them going towards the back now. Alrighto, so I've run the RCAs up through under the glove box here, round through behind where this computer is, and run it back through this channel here, all the way through. And I'll go the same route as Crash, straight through to the boot, and uh, hook it up to the amp. So that's nice and hidden away there, nice and tidy. Through here, through the seat here, and there you go, that's where the RCA's come out there. Right, so we got a problem. What do you reckon? The amps garbage. We take no claim or responsibility <laughs> for that. We did our part um, properly. The amp, it, it's old and boss audio, enough said. So I think I found a solution. I went and saw the owner of the car and he had a couple others sitting around. <coughs> so, right on. so what do we got here? We're going to split the power essentially and we're going to use this Pioneer to power the 6x3s that are in the parcel shelf and then we're going to use this option audio to power the sub by itself um, apparently the wattage will be the same between or well, the power will be the same between the amp that's on there now and the option audio but we think the option audio is going to be a lot clearer and sound a lot better and produce cleaner power so we'll get into that and um, We'll suss it all out when we're finished. Alright, sounds good. Bye. So here we go, we've um, now finished it. We got the uh, sub amp right there and the body two 6x3s powering off that one. Sounds much better. They both work. Um, Supported by they're all getting garage. They're all getting their RMS rating, so pretty happy with it. And uh, the fella the fella that owns the car will probably be pretty happy with it, so yeah. Yeah, should be good, eh? Procured at a wedding. <laughs> Let's go let it off.